Crews stopped at a shelter and listened as one woman demanded We lost everything. Offering comfort. And is your family all safe and okay? And support to those who've lost everything. Twice in two weeks, Senator Ted Cruz has visited Port Arthur and seen the devastation. We need, we need some action. Let's talk some action. And heard the pleas for help from people like Patricia Mooney, who says they're tired of hearing relief is coming. They want to see it. I don't know, it's like we've been left out. Mooney was evacuated a week ago. She stayed at Thomas Jefferson Middle School, set to close as a shelter. Just last week, Congress voted out a $15 billion relief package. Mooney says the government needs to do more. Uh, everyone recognizes that's just a down payment. Uh, most of the estimates for the cost of, of, of rebuilding are, are north of $100 billion. Senator Cruz says he dedicated a portion of his staff to Harvey relief efforts. He wants the people of Port Arthur to know he's working with FEMA and the governor to speed up assistance for housing. For the people that are in need of shelter, we're working here in this shelter to find new shelters and then to move people from shelters to temporary housing and hopefully in time to, to permanent housing. Cruz says Houston has received a lot of the post-hurricane attention that maintains Port Arthur isn't forgotten. Houston has been devastated. But, but I don't think there's a community in the whole state of Texas that, that has seen such incredible devastation the way Port Arthur has. Mooney was born in Port Arthur and believes it's not all talk. It kind of felt like he was sincere about helping, and not just helping a few, but helping everybody, because he wants everybody to be helped. Crews left southeast Texas and head to Rockport to see the hurricane devastation there. Jasmine, back to you.